Welcome back, everyone. We are continuing our talk on take a stand on a public issue. So we are going to continue on our page where we are filling out our stance, our research, our perspectives, and solutions on should a dog have to wear a leash in public? So that is the topic we are continuing to look at. Today we're going to look at possible solutions. Yesterday you had a discussion board based on alternative solutions. Today we're going to dig a little deeper into possible solutions here. Many people have opinions about public policy issues. There may also be many solutions. Public policy makers have to evaluate different solutions and decide which is best. They do research and become familiar with the issue. They suggest many solutions. Then they evaluate each solution. They look at the pros and cons. They evaluate how the solution will affect people involved. They then make a decision that works best for the common good. So works best for everyone. If you take a look at this picture here, I have a sign that says leash laws. So they're looking into the pros and cons of leash laws. So we have keep kids safe, dogs can't run away, dogs learn to obey are some of the pros. Con is dogs can't run free. So this is what we're going to be taking a look at as we continue on our writing here. So the last few days we talked about how to identify our issue. So our issue again is should dogs have to wear a leash when they are out in public? Should someone in I would also write what do you need to know about your issue. So would someone become hurt if they're not wearing a leash? How would a dog feel if they are on a leash? I said I was going to use my internet resources and ask people in my community. Yesterday we talked about how I researched the issue and how I found some reliable sources that I could add in about my research issue and I even added a picture here about a law in Saginaw. And then yesterday we also talked about examining multiple perspectives. So I gave the example of my neighbors, how um, one person says that they should be on a leash because she's afraid of dogs. The other one said that they should be on a leash because it's for the dog's safety. And the last person said that they don't think the dog should be on a leash because they should be able to run free and have fun. So let's look at possible solutions now. A possible solution is how do we come to a conclusion on this? How do we end the question, should dogs have to wear a leash? So there's a couple options here for a solution. Dogs don't have to wear a leash ever. So the, the son in my previous perspective would probably agree with this answer, that dogs don't ever have to wear a leash. There's also an option for Dogs have to wear a leash at all times, even if they're at your house or in your backyard. So that's another possible solution. And lastly, dogs only have to wear a leash in public, in parks, or on walks. This means that they don't have to wear a leash while they are in your home or in the backyard. So three different possible solutions. Take a minute and think, which solution do you think is the best one? And which one would you pick? All right, now that you had a little bit of a chance to think there, we're gonna go through the pros and cons of each solution. So let's look at leash on, or leash on at all times. So we have some pros and some cons here. So leash on at all times, we could say, the dog is always with the owner. People around the dog would feel safe. Think of another one on your own. What do you think is a pro or a con about the leash being on at all times? I would say these are my pros. Let's, let's look at some cons. Can you think of one? The dog may be sad because it is always 
tied up. It has no freedom. That would be kind of sad if the dog was tied up on a leash at all times and never had the chance to, to run free, even in a backyard, for example. All right, so those are my pros and cons here. I'm gonna look at no leash ever. So dogs never have to wear a leash. Pro, they would be happy to run free and have fun all the time. What about a con? So something that, that could be bad about this. Yeah, they could get hit by a car. They could hurt or bite someone. I know that's scary to think about, but that could happen. So no leash ever. They could be happy and they could run free all the time. They could get hit by a car or they could hurt or bite. Oops, I need to add someone. So kind of serious things right there. So that's a little scary to me. What about only having to wear in public? So pros again, the owner is with them. People around them in public feel safe. The dog won't get hit by a car if it's on a leash. What about, let's look at our cons. Well, the dog might still be a little sad on the leash. But if we're looking at all of these, all of these scenarios here, leash on at all times, never have to wear a leash or only have to wear one in public, which one do you think is the best solution after going through those pros and cons? My opinion would be this one right here. Only have to wear a leash in public. Because our cons are more severe in our other in our other options and I'm going to highlight those. So they could hurt someone or bite someone. They could get hit by a car, which is scary. Um, they could be sad because they're always tied up. So those cons are a little worse than the, the dog might be a little sad, okay? Because it's only going to be tied up for a little bit where in our first example over here, they are only, they are tied up all the time, okay? So that's why I'm deciding with only have to wear it in public. Now that I have my stance, which is what opinion I have decided on, and I have my research done, I have opinions from my community and the internet. Now I'm going to go in and start writing here. So I'm gonna start and follow step by step. So A, introduce the issue and state your opinion. Do you remember what the issue is? So my issue is, the public issue in question is should dogs have to wear a leash in public? That is my issue that I'm talking about right now. It also says that I should state my opinion, which I just told you what my opinion was. I think dogs should have to wear a leash in public, but not at home. So that is A. If I were to come up here, I could take my pencil and I have finished A, so I can cross off A. Now I'm going to provide reasons that are supported by fact and detail. So why do I think this? Well, I've been I've been talking about it in my videos, and I've come up to reason with reasons and facts to support my details. Here it is right here. My reason for this is there are not that many dog attacks compared to how many dogs there are. So again, here I just pulled from my research above. I also think dogs would not be happy to be on their leashes all day. And I need to actually fix this, this should say even at home. Oops, I need to get my, there we go. All right, so that would be my B. I have provided reasons that are supported by fact and details. C, link opinion and reasoning 
using words and phrases. So I'm going to put my own example of my own situation of how I can relate to this situation. And I'm also going to use these words up here, for instance, in order to or in addition. So those are some of the words that you should be looking for as I write here. So link my opinion and reasoning, which I did that here. For instance, my dog is not happy when he greets someone on a leash. He is much more calm off his leash. Secondly, in order to keep my dog safe in public, he should have a leash on him so he does not run into traffic. So those are my two opinions there. I said why I think my dog should be on a leash in public and why I think my dog should not have to be on a leash at home. So I put my own opinion and I put, I use those words for instance and in order to. So I use some of those keywords up there. So I can cross off C and moving on to D. Provide a conclusion statement or um, section related to opinion presented. So this is just me restating my, my opinion, restating what the public issue was and coming to a conclusion on everything that I've just said before. So I come down here, I can move my box out of the way. Based on everything, oh, let me make it smaller. Based on everything above, I think dogs should wear a leash in public but not at home. So that is my opinion on this issue here. You might have a different opinion than me, and that's okay. In your discussion board for today, you are going to go in and you are going to write about your opinion on this, on this issue, on this public issue that we've been talking about. I really hope you paid close attention to this video because this page here, take a stand on a public issue that we have been working so hard to complete on together. You will be working on this after Thanksgiving break. We will review a little bit about what a public issue is and then you will be, com you will be completing this page on a new public issue that I give to you. So today, your only other assignment is to go and answer your discussion board posting. We will continue this after Thanksgiving break. Have a great day, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving.